Ah, hello everybody. Here's my Werner Hein Model OS Oh Boy Jack. And, uh, you know, I had to spend like an hour staring at this thing to figure out that maybe there's like an O here and a and a Y, and I could see model, maybe an OS, and then I saw Wisconsin. That's about all I could read out of this thing here. here but it uh, appears to be the uh, the model OS Oh Boy. Let's take a look around at this thing. Now, the big problem I have with this baby is it leaks like crazy right here. Every time I pump it up, it just leaks a whole bunch, and it's getting to where it doesn't uh, uh, go up all the way anymore because it's out of fluid. So I did buy some uh, new uh, premium jack oil and a rebuild kit. I went on, uh, you can go on eBay or Amazon, and or you can just go to the HRC uh, Now uh, website, and you can order these uh, rebuild kits, and they seem to have everything I need and, and more. It seems like they maybe have twice as much things as I need. Let's take a look around at this thing here. I've been looking at it for a while. Let me point out some uh, interesting things about it. So we can see the whole power unit in here, and it's uh, connected to the, the lifting unit by, uh, with this uh, cotter pin. So I'm going to have to definitely take the cotter pin out, and these two springs need to come off. And then, I believe, just these two bolts here and the two bolts on the other side, the whole thing should just drop out. And uh, looking over here, we can kind of see the, this is where the plunger would be to pump it up. And of course, this thing spins around. And I'm pretty sure this little thing here is, uh, covers a, uh, a valve that you'd adjust to determine how, how much uh, uh, force it, it can apply. So uh, underneath, see if you can see it right there, is the filling valve and it'll say uh, it's supposed to fill to where that valve is if I just wanted to put fluid in it. Another thing I noticed when looking at this is you can see that these stiff uh, wire or these stiff uh, prongs and if you pull the prong in you can see how it goes to this hinge so if you squeeze these two things in there you can take the whole jack handle off. So anyway let's get into it. Okay, I took off the handle, and we can see the Lakatter pin right here, and I'll just go ahead and take that off. Here you can kind of see a little bit more. There appears to be a drain plug here, but uh, boy, it doesn't look like it's coming off. Okay, I, I got those two springs off and the cotter pin out. Okay, I took off the four three-quarter inch bolts, and this whole assembly kind of just drops right out of the bottom, and... Uh, Oh, there we go. So now we can work on it. Well, you can see where this says fill line right here. First thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take a half inch wrench and drain this thing out of all the oil so I don't make a big mess. Well, I, I didn't seem to get very much oil out of there. Okay, the main thing I need to repair on this is this leaking pump seal. This thing just uh, just spills out oil like crazy. And I looked on the Lazar website you know, the same same place that, that sold me the kit. And uh, the way it looks is it looks like I'm going to have to undo this uh, spring retainer here. There's a little cl metal clip that does the spring, uh, and then the spring will come off. And this thing will come all the way out. I have to take this plug off on the bottom, and it comes out the end of that plug, and then I'll be able to replace all the seals on the pump assembly. Well, I could tell by looking that this screw really didn't want to come out. I'm going to try the, the vice grips for a while and and, and maybe chisel on it. I, uh, I'll see if I can get out. I, I may have to destroy it. I, uh, I The only alternative I may have is destroy this thing and replace it. Here are the instructions I downloaded on how to install the pump seal. So uh, they uh, have a bottom plug with a, a hex on there and they use a, an impact driver uh, to take it out and take out the, the piston pump assembly from the bottom. And of course they say do not remove the pump guide because it takes special tools and is easily damaged. Just to kind of show you the, uh, kind of see how this thing all kind of goes together and then out the bottom. Well, no matter how good a grip I get with this thing with the vice grips, I get a really good grip. When I start to turn it, it actually just tears off the, the, the steel on this thing and it's getting smaller and smaller. So it's time for a plan B. Here's plan B. 
we got this thing uh, going here and I welded a three quarter inch nut on the top there. And I just hope it's gonna hold. Well, I swear, nothing is ever easy in life. This stupid thing came off. Well, let's try it again. Okay, this is the second try. And I welded the hell out of it. I, tried, I put a much deeper fillet all the way around the outside than I just about completely filled the inside up with uh, steel. And let's just hope this sticks. I'm gonna clean this up and try to take it off. Well, this is what success looks like. Oh man, I, I have this 30 inch breaker bar, the three quarter inch uh, on there. And man, oh man, boy, it was hard to get this baby off. But it's off now. And uh, I just gotta, I'll see whether there's clearance underneath this thing. I may have to buy a new uh, piece for it. But uh, if this thing will fit underneath the jack without dragging, I'll uh, just keep it. So now that I got that cap off on the bottom, I just got to undo this uh, clip around the top here and uh, take off the spring. And this whole thing should just uh, drop down. And that little collar that my th thumbnail's on, that's the one that we leave in. We don't fool around because we need a, a special tool and we might damage. Okay, the trick on this uh, clip is you got to pry around the back on it and then pr pry it out that way. Okay, so now that I got the clip off, you can see the head of this plunger is mushroomed. So uh, I'm going to have to take it and grind around the edge, grind away that lip until this thing will come out of there. Okay, I took a, a pair of long nose pliers and, and pushed down the edge a little bit and then got the grinder and went all the way around the edge and this thing, uh, this thing popped right up. So now we're looking on inside here. Well, that was the part you're not supposed to remove right there. So I guess that's the reason this thing was leaking so badly, is this thing was never really screwed in properly. And uh, well, that certainly explains why it was uh, leaking so bad. Okay, I tried pushing this thing all the way through, this, and it wouldn't go all the way through, and there was a, a 7 16 nut on the end. Oh, here it is right here, 7 16 inch nut. And, for, and I think that this seal that, that nut tightens up the seal assembly. And according to the instructions, when you reassemble this thing, you put it in here and you keep on tightening this nut until it's, it's stiff, but not too stiff. It also caused too much wear. But uh, for some reason, with this nut tight, I wasn't able to push it through, but, I, but with, uh, but with the, the guide out, with the, you know, the, this guide out there, this thing pulled out from the top. And so now I can replace all these seals here and put everything back together on this. Okay, here's the old shaft in order. See, so we got the, the nut, kind of a pinch nut that I got off there, a metal spacer, a rubber seal, and a fiber washer. And the new kit seems to have this rubber seal and this plastic ring, looks like it fits inside there, and then a, a fiber washer. So uh, I'm just going to reassemble with these things. Okay, I got this thing back in here, and... Uh, I wasn't able to get it in through the bottom. That brass uh, washer just wouldn't make it through these threads. So I went in through the top, got it in there, of course with the, the nut loose, and I tightened up the nut, tightened up the nut, and, it's, and I didn't really get it super tight. In fact, I got snug, and it was really kind of hard to move this thing, and I just loosened up just enough to where I could uh, move it by hand uh, uh, stiffly. Well, anyway, I, I don't really know about the instructions here, because as I said, uh, this piston doesn't come out through the bottom. That uh, brass washer was too big to make it through the threads. It only comes out through the top, and it can only come out through the top with this uh, valve guide or this pump guide removed. And you can see the pump guide has a pin in it. So you have, if you have a small uh, uh, pin wrench, you can uh, uh, rotate it with that, or you can see uh, slots on the top. Now, I, I made a special tool. I had a washer, and I took a, an angle grinder to it, and put a half inch uh, uh, slot in here. This is exactly a half inch thing. So you have a half inch slot. So my plan is, is I'm gonna take some uh, pipe thread sealant. Uh, I just love this stuff. I use it everywhere. Pipe thread sealant, put it on there, and then use my special tool to clamp it down uh, over top of the, the piston. Okay, so now I just have to have that locking ring on there. And you can see here's my old locking ring and uh, there's a new one with the kit, and we'll just put that on. All right, we got this thing on here. 
And I tell you that special tool, I use the special pull tool to push down really, really hard. And then the, uh, the ring actually would go over the top. And once it was resting on there and I hold it down with the other hand, I, I squeezed a pair of pliers and got it in there. And now it's all, all secure. Okay, got the, the bottom plug put back in. I actually use pipe sealer on there, although these are supposed to be uh, uh, tapered pipe threads that don't need sealing. But yeah, with the hell of a little sealer, it doesn't hurt anything. Now let's take a look at the rest of this thing. So here's the rest of my, my parts here. You can see we've got some seals that would kind of go into the very end here. And then there seems to be a, a big uh, piston plunger here and, and a couple pins and a spring. And I guess that those, these parts would be for the pressure relief. I'm not, I'm not going to mess with that. It's still working fine. And uh, anyway, uh, to take this thing off, remember I was talking about uh, a pin wrench. And you can kind of see where it separates right there. And it looks like somebody may have tried to take this thing apart in the, in the past. You know, I bought this thing 20 years ago at a swap meet for $60. But you can see some marks where somebody has maybe uh, tried to use a, a, a pair of uh, channel locks on it or something like that. But uh, And then... You can see this little thing screws out and that of course would uh, be holding uh, these little uh, piston seals. I went on Amazon to see the, the right tool and they're really not that expensive. So uh, like the small one is for like three quarters to two inch so three quarters that would have worked on that uh, pump guide and then uh, for the main cylinder you probably want to get a 12 inch one and let's see here the 12 inch one you know it's that's not a, not a bad uh, bad thing here, $18. I... Anyway, uh, um, if, if it works, I, I, I'm not going to mess with this thing. I'm taking this thing apart with all the problems I've been having with it. It's just asking for trouble. When this thing leaks, I mean, I've got these parts. I'm going to save them. If I ever have any more problems with this thing, I'll, t I'll have a part two and take this thing apart and replace uh, uh, the main piston seals and the, and the wipers. And uh, But anyway, for now... Everything should be working fine. So now it's time to get our uh, our Hein Werner uh, premium oil. And it says fill to line with oil here. So I'm gonna very carefully fill this thing up till it's completely full and starts to drain out. And uh, hopefully that'll be enough oil. Well, there it is in all of its glory, all fixed. Works perfectly. I put oil on all the joints and all the wheels and all the spinners and every little uh, place. And it's working great and uh, wheels around and it works just as good as new.